Hey guys, today we're going to be learning the Ultimate 3 Card Monty. This is a great routine you can do and it really impresses people you perform it to as it really does seem impossible that you can create this effect. This is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Ultimate 3 Card Monty. It uses 3 cards, the Ace of Diamonds, the 2 of Clubs and the 3 of Clubs. And before you begin you can just shuffle up the cards, it doesn't really matter what order the cards are in and once you've done with the shuffling you can just show the cards again and you ask the spectator to follow the red ace so you show the three cards then you can deal them out like this and shuffle them up all the time telling the spectator to keep their eye on the red ace you finish shuffling and you say where's the ace and they'll probably say in the middle but then you say no that's the two you can let them guess again, and they might guess over here, and you say, no, that's the three. Because the ace is right over here on the right-hand side. And this will probably get a good reaction, but they might think that they just didn't look properly, so you can do it again. What you do, you show the three cards, the two of clubs, the ace of diamonds, and the three of clubs. You can shuffle them up, and then you show the cards again the ace, the two and the three and you can place them down this time you don't even need to shuffle you say where's the ace, they'll say right over here you say no that's the two you let them guess again that's the three the ace was in the middle and then you say hmm okay let's uh, simplify things a bit what we'll do I think uh, we don't actually need this two over here so what we'll do is We'll actually just get rid of it. So you can take the two here, just place it off to one side, and that leaves you with the ace and the three. You say, you can't lose, there's only two cards. The ace and the three, I'll even show you the threes here. Where's the ace? The ace are right here. And you say, no, that's the two. The ace was over here the whole time. And uh, that's the ultimate three card Monty. Uh, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the tutorial for this effect. The secret is hidden in the cards themselves. There's not much uh, actual sleight of hand in this trick at all, it's quite easy once you know the secret. And the secret is two of the cards are gimmicked. This ace of diamonds has a two of clubs pip, and this two of clubs has an ace of diamonds pip. Now you can buy these cards online, they are special cards. Um, I'll leave a link in the description um, for where you can buy them. And you can actually make them yourself um, using a a rubber and um, you can rub out the pips and stick them with one on. I'll cover that in a separate tutorial but um, I would advise to buy them as um, making your own they don't really look as good. So how do I use these gimmicks in the trick? Well if I spread the cards like this they look normal but when I flip them round because of the fake pips it looks like the two is on the left and the ace is in the middle but actually the ace is on the left and the two is in the middle. So if you put this into the trick, you can say follow the ace, and when you turn them over, the ace is actually the top card, whereas you would think it's the middle card. So when I turn the middle card over and cover the pip, it looks like the two is in the middle and the ace is on the left. So that's generally how the whole trick works. And now I'll just uh, go through my routine. Okay, so I like to start my routine like this, with the Ace of Diamonds on the bottom, the Two of Clubs above that, and the normal Three of Clubs on the very top of the face-up packet. And I start my routine like this because I like to do this spread at the start to convince the audience that I have three normal cards. You're going to do this firstly by pushing off the top two cards slightly and holding onto them with your right hand. You're then going to pull the top two cards, which is the two black cards. You're going to pull them down diagonally until they 
get about over this two of clubs pip on the ace of diamonds and you're going to stop when they cover that fake pip. You're then going to take your left thumb and hold on to that two of clubs while continuing to pull down that three of clubs until it covers the two of clubs fake pip. And you're going to stop like that. So it really looks like you've got three normal cards and it creates a great illusion. So you can just hold the cards like this for a minute and you can hold the two cards with um, your right index and middle fingers underneath the packet just to create a more, even more open illusion. I know you've displayed this for a few seconds, you can close them up, being careful not to expose any of these pips, and you square them up like that. So that's how I start my routine. Okay, next what you want to do is a really important move in this routine is to flip the cards over lengthways, like that. So this, this move, you have to cards like this, and you flip them like that. And what this does is, if you were to turn them over widthways now, you'll see that you have the fake pips on the uh, this part of the card. They're not on the lower right hand side, they're now on the top left. So this creates the illusion that you've got the two and the ace, as actually you've got the ace and then the two. So that's what flipping them over that way does. Okay, so once I've displayed the cards like that and flipped them over lengthways, I'll sometimes do a shuffle, like you saw me do in the performance. But when I'm doing the shuffle, I'll be very careful that I keep the normal three of clubs on the bottom of the face down packet. That way, when I flip them over next, widthways like that, um, I have a normal card face up. If I had um, one of the gimmicks on the bottom and I flip them like that, it would expose the secret to the trick and it would ruin it. So be very careful you have the normal card on the bottom before you flip the cards. Okay, next what you want to do is spread the cards very tightly like this, so you only expose the pips. Be very careful you don't slip too far, otherwise you'll expose that the pips are fake and it's actually the two and the ace, not the two on the left and the ace in the middle. Okay, so once you've got this very tight spread, you can square up the cards again and flip them widthways and place the three cards down on the table. And now the spectator at this point believes the ace to be in the middle and that's actually the two and the ace is over here. But before you ask them where the ace is, you can mix the cards up slightly if you wanted to. So that's mixed up. They think the ace is here and this is where another secret move comes in. What, I, what you can do with this move is actually flip the cards over without exposing that pip. And this move, um, you do it by coming across with your right hand and contacting the top right edge of the card because you'll see on this top right edge is the fake pip. So you want to cover that pip when you pick the card up. So you do this by coming across with your right hand, contacting the top right edge with your thumb and pulling this card, you're going to pull it up into your fingers, like this. So you you bring your uh, index, middle and ring fingers underneath the card. So you bend the card slightly to pull it up onto those fingers. And now you can see that my index, middle and ring are actually covering that fake pip. So I pull the card with my thumb onto my fingers to cover the pip, and then I expose the card. Um, now, the first time you do this, you'll probably be uh, scared that you might have a window that they can see this pip through. But don't be too worried, the pips are very small, um, so compared to your finger size, it's quite easy to cover the cards. Okay, so getting back to the trick. The spectator currently believes the ace is in the middle and you do that special move with your right hand to um, hide that pip and then you show them that's the two of clubs and they were wrong. You then can ask them again, let's say they guessed over here um, if they thought this was the ace and you do that special move again because you, uh, you might forget where, where each card is so just to be safe always do this while you're picking up the card. So that was the ace, 
and you're actually hiding the two of clubs with your fingers there and you show, yeah, okay, you are right in the second go. You can then place that card back down while you show that the three of clubs is over here and you're not cheating or anything like that. So now you want to gather up the cards again and make sure the three of clubs, the normal card, is on the bottom. You want the three of clubs always to be on the bottom when you square up the cards. And while you're squaring them up, you can say, okay, uh, you didn't get it first time, let's see if you can get it on your first go this time. And what you're going to do is you want to flip the cards lengthways again and then do that spread we did in the beginning to show that they're three normal cards. This just convinces them you're not cheating or anything like that, they're three normal cards. You can then uh, flip them lengthways again and do any more shuffles you want to do while retaining the three of clubs on the bottom. Then flip them like that and do that tight spread again to show them. Now we're just going to do exactly the same thing that we've just done. The ace is in the middle, we flip them over, we place three cards down and then you can say where's the ace, they'll say in the middle, you say no that's the two and then you'll say where's the ace, they might guess here, you say that's the ace, yep, yeah. the three was over here, you didn't get it on your first go again. So you can collect the cards again and this is the final stage of the routine now. All you want to do is you can do that, flip them that ways again and show their normal cards flip them lengthways again and this time I'm going to get rid of the two so I do this by um, I show that I've got the two on the left hand side obviously it's the ace with the fake pip the two is in the middle I show the two to be on the left and I say we'll get rid of the two which leaves me with I show the three and the ace obviously this is the two and the ace the two and the three sorry so you show that and you say you can't lose there's only two cards you place them down and you say look I'll even show you the threes over here where's the ace and it really looks like the ace is in the, in the middle here they they won't believe they can be wrong because as far as they're concerned you've shown them the three and the two is out of the game it has to be here but you do that special move through your right hand again to cover that fake pip and you say no the two is here the whole time the three is here the ace was all the way over here and that's a really amazing effect you can produce. And then you can just final, one final time show that they are three cards that are completely normal. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, as I said in the beginning, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can uh, buy these cards. And I'll probably have a tutorial out soon on how to make them yourself. Um, so if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, favourite, comment and subscribe. This has been Clute Deception and I'll see you later.